beautiful guys today i discuss on this topic that is very important for everyone to understand it and that topic is antibiotic resistance now the question is why we need to understand it and what we can do to so know this see my video till the end first we define what is antibiotic resistance and why is antibiotic resistance a problem Antibiotic resistance occurs when bacteria develop the ability to withstand the effects of antibiotics, making them ineffective in treating infections. Antibiotics resistance is a growing global health threat, leading to increased morbidity and mortality because resistant infections are harder to treat, resulting in prolonged illnesses and increased risk of death. Prolonged hospital stays. Resistant infections require longer hospital stays, increasing healthcare costs and the risk of complications limited treatment options because of the emergence of antibiotic resistant superbugs leaves few effective treatment options bacteria gain resistance through different mechanisms genetic mutation which is spontaneous mutations or mutations that developed due to selective pressure horizontal gene transfer beta lactamase enzymes and modification of antibiotic targets and many other mechanisms Now we discuss what are causes of antibiotic resistance. Overuse and misuse of antibiotics. Taking antibiotics when not needed or not completing the full treatment course contributes to resistance. For example, using antibiotics to treat viral infections like the common cold or flu. Lack of new antibiotic development. The development of new antibiotics has slowed, leaving few options to combat resistant bacteria. Poor infection control practices, inadequate hygiene, inadequate sterilization, and poor wound care contribute to the spread of resistant bacteria. Example: not washing hands regularly, especially in healthcare settings. What can we do? Use antibiotics responsibly. Only use antibiotics when prescribed by a healthcare professional and complete the full treatment course. Practice good hygiene. Wash hands regularly. especially in healthcare settings get vaccinated vaccines can prevent infections reducing the need for antibiotics for example getting vaccinated against flu or pneumococcal disease support antibiotic research and development encourage investment in the development of new antibiotics and alternative treatments we know that antibiotic resistance is a growing crisis that affects us all Imagine a world where common infections become untreatable. That's the reality we face if we don't act. Each time we misuse antibiotics, whether by taking them for viral infections or not completing our prescribed courses, we give bacteria a chance to adapt and evolve. These superbugs can then spread, making it harder for doctors to treat even minor ailments. The World Health Organization warns that if we don't change our habits, we could return to an era where simple surgeries become life-threatening. We need to be smarter about how we use antibiotics. This means only taking them when necessary, following medical advice, and advocating for better practices in healthcare. By understanding the importance of responsible antibiotic use, we can protect ourselves and future generations. Together, we can combat this silent threat and ensure that antibiotics remain effective for years to come. I hope after seeing this video, you understand well about antibiotic resistance and how you can play a role to overcome this resistance. At the end of this video, I only want to say follow those instructions that you learn from this video and don't forget to share with others. Work together to protect the public health system. Let's now protect tomorrow.